Um, so I just need a video to upload this week. So here's my version of that video topic you have seen hundreds of times in the One Piece community, and it's so repetitive at this point. This is Hockey Boy Shanks versus the actual swordsman Dracula Mihawk, aka the strongest swordsman. And first of all, yes, Shanks is definitely not a swordsman. Like, when have we actually seen him fight with the swords besides, of course, Kainu, which he wasn't trying, and Whitebeard, which of course you would need a sword to stop Whitebeard's sword from cutting him, guys. Come on. Other than that, we've seen the god of hockey doing what he does. You know, he's in sniper hockey against Green Bull, hockey blitzing, useless kid, and he's no different admirals at this point and someone who also just literally helped take down Big Mom and we're comparing to someone who went toe to toe with Vista which Oda is still hiding in the results of. So yes, yeah, Shanks wins zero difficulty. <laughs> Well, that's what the kings of Copian tell me on Twitter and Reddit at least. Dracula Mihawk is in fact the strongest swordsman and most skilled swordsman in the world and even being compared to Shanks multiple times. And yes, even with his lack of feats and showings, there's really nothing to debunk this as of now. Now we have to talk about hockey, and as much as I love Shanks more than Mihawk, it's just very silly to assume that just because Shanks has the best hockey feats up to this point in the series, that he just somehow eclipses Mihawk in hockey. It really gets as simple as this. If Shanks is a master of all types of hockey, Mihawk has to be on that level and or above in some form because that's what it is. That's what the narrative that Oda has been pushing for years. But I want to bring up one more thing that I've been seeing recently in the One Piece community, and this for sure has a level of copium in it, but it could hold some truth to it. And that is that Oda has been hiding what Shanks' true strength is, really. And to believe this, you would have to believe the entire narrative that has been pushed from Mihawk is Cap. Now the reason this could possibly maybe be true is that we still know very little about Shanks, we just have found out about his family and in recent chapters we see him a lot more showing his abilities and a lot more as well. Like I know none of y'all knew this dude could use Divine Departure and I'm kinda like 70-30 on this being true, 30 being the amount I could believe it. But barring that insane turn of events happening, Mihawk wins and if someone thinks otherwise you just gotta look at them and tell them you love them. That's it. But that's my short, very easy to understand take on this matchup, this definitely will not end the debate but who cares, Mihawk wins anyways you know, like the video, do whatever, bye.